Five companies we keep buying during this dip. Stay tuned. You really don't want to miss this one. Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing five companies that we continue to buy during this dip. Now, I know it's been a dip that's gone for about two to three months, but during this time is when you really find out how much conviction you have in some of your plays that you are um, invested in. So with that, you have to keep in mind that just like they went up, they can go down as well. But however, keep in mind that if you're investing in companies that you're not a hundred percent committed it's going to be very easy for you to sell okay um but if you're investing in companies that you really believe in that 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 you think have big potential in the future then keep investing in them because at the end of the day um you're you're investing in the long term of a company and i keep getting asked how much are you invested in fubo because i've made plenty of videos on fubo um and during this dip i've just invested more because I think Fubo is honestly going to be at least, at least a hundred dollar company. So when you look back a couple of years from now and, and you look back and you say, wow, I was able to get this company at this price and now it's worth this. Much like Tesla, much like a lot of different companies that at the very beginning went through some hard, steep falls. But at the end, they just continue to go up, continue to go up and continue to go up. But with that, guys, I didn't want to take too much of that time. Uh, I want to focus on the five companies that we are buying currently. Okay, first company that we are buying is Tilray. Tilray, ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. That's in the marijuana sector. And that's one of the sectors that we touched on that was going to be big this year. And the reason why we're touching on Tilray is because, and we keep buying Tilray, is because I believe Tilray is one of the more dominant companies in the marijuana sectors so they're they're one of the biggest companies also with their um their connection to uh their buyout of apha um i think i think that makes them one of the top companies in that sector and that's one of the main reasons we keep buying tilray and i think uh right now at this point where it's at 17 16 18 dollars anywhere in that area it's a great time to buy this pick up some of this company okay remember to dollar cost average in any of these companies that we do mention second company that we continue to add to is mara ticker symbol m-a-r-a -A. um mara is a bitcoin mining company and there's two of them there's mara and there's riot but i think mara in terms of um their whole legalization aspect i think they're more advanced than riot somewhat I like both companies. I think both companies have tremendous upside. I really don't understand this dip uh, on Mara and Riot because um, as BTC has continued to go up, the mining companies should go up there with them. So I think it's a gift, and I said that on on um, on Twitter. It's a gift at these prices. We bought some, and it still fell more. So we've added more to our position. Remember, dollar cost average. Third company, my favorite, Fubo. Fubo TV ticker symbol F U B O at these prices guys 18 19 bucks it's a steal it's a giveaway these guys this company is in the gambling streaming sector it's going to be huge guys they're going to I can't repeat this enough but let me tell you one more time when you have a company that not only has a streaming service but also has the gambling service which it will open up later on this year and you see the companies that are backing this company like disney like jp morgan like all these big institutions backing this company it only makes sense for you to pick up some of these shares and hold them for the long run guys we're currently at about a thousand shares on Fubo. Um, our average is still up there, okay? Because I've been buying Fubo left and right, but our average is still like at about 28, 29 bucks. So when when I get asked, are you still buying Fubo? Yes, I am. Will I continue to buy Fubo even if it drops to 15? Yes, I will. Because it's only giving me an opportunity to buy a company that I am fully, fully, that I fully believe in. 
and and I think it's just a great opportunity to, that you're getting right now. If I was buying it at 30, why wouldn't I buy it at 15, right? It's half price. Remember guys, everybody looks smart when they when they call out a play at, at a certain price and, and it goes up. But not all your call outs and not and this this market that's going on right now, it's it's just not, you know, it is what it is. You deal with it, but you have an opportunity here at this moment to get incredible companies at incredible prices. Okay? Fourth company that we continue to add to is Riot. That's a second company that I just mentioned besides Mora. Riot, they just came out with some incredible numbers. Quarter one was amazing for them. Crazy numbers and their stock drops, it plummets. So it, it, it just goes to show you that sometimes the, sometimes the information, you know, sometimes you get really, really good information on a company and it drops. And then sometimes you get bad information on a company and it goes up. So it just, it goes to show you that you can never really predict what's gonna happen with the stock price. But whenever you do get an opportunity and you believe in a company and you think that that company will continue to go for up in the future, then don't hesitate to buy in, guys. My last company that I want to cover on this video is Skills, ticker symbol SKLZ. Guys, Skills has gone from 40 something all the way back down to 20 bucks and currently trading at about seven, 16, 16, 17. It even hit like 15 bucks. Guys, Skills is amazing. It's going to be an amazing company. It has a great CEO. Um, their numbers are great. I can only see this company continue to grow. Their partnership with the NFL. Um, it's a. It's going to be a good, good company. Gaming on your cell phone, gaming online, is just a growing, growing, multiplying business right now. It's just growing exponentially. So I can only say that Skills will at some point reach back to $40. Not only will get back to $40, guys, skills will get back to 40 and above 40. And I will look back at this time and you'll say, wow, I was able to purchase skills at this price a year from now. And you're gonna see what that price of skills is gonna be. When you believe a come in a company, continue to buy. With that, guys, I didn't wanna take too much of your time. I know I haven't been making too many videos as of late, but we were on vacation, so I did take a little bit of time off. With that, we're back in, in play here. Um, follow us at Investing OG on Twitter. And also, if you found any of this information informative, please like and subscribe to this channel. Also, hit the notification bell. That way, you get notifications anytime uh, we put out a video. With that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.